What is up, you guys? It is Wednesday, my dudes. Ah, it's actually Thursday, but that was in my head for some reason. Hello, welcome back to uh, Voyager Part 9. Um, it's been a long week. Let's get into it. Oh, boy. Mountain Tune. In the outdoors. Oh. This is my plan, but next time is blank. We, we gotta love a plan. We gotta love a good plan. So last time we said we would end here. Okay, this time it's day 18. I am so thirsty, I can't... Shh, 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 history. Right, we gotta plan. We gotta plan some things. Um, was... I was gonna say, was I playing Astrid Says? Because my HUD is gone. We're good. We're good. Um, day 18. So. Mermit hut. Thing. <laughs> What's our goal here? What's our goal? What's the master notes say? Again. FM. Have I done FM? Oh, so I've just been to... Spencer's the the bunker and the poachers camp so I have basically done FM so we're probably just going to pass through FM yeah let's just go down straight down Marsh Ridge and into but we've already done Brick and Railroad haven't we so what was the plan with FM Mystery Lake Oh, PV, Timberwolf Mount. Oh, yes, yeah, Summit and Ash Canyon and all that nonsense. So, yeah, our plan should be to hop down. Maybe go to Poachers on the Way as a safety place and then go to Camp Office on our way out. Maybe end up at the dam if we can get there in a day. I think we probably can. Um, We've just done Mystery Lake, so I don't think we have anything i have a feeling that i might have left some stuff at somewhere maybe but no i haven't been basing myself anywhere have i i mean i haven't made a note about any base you know so i'm assuming i have basically everything on me that i want um we have the ability to make one arrow i believe or did I? I already did it. I already did it. Okay, well let's let's make that plan. So day 18, Hermit Hut. Uh probably poachers on our way out. We've got this damn ravine cave. Oh, am I being way too optimistic here? Have I been to the dam? Have I been to Have I been to the dam and have I been to the trailers outside the dam? If I'm going to PV, I'm not going to ravine. Why do I think I'm going to ravine? I haven't been to the dam. All right, well, we're going to end up in the dam then. What a damn shame. Right. We're going to end up in the dam. We're going to loot the dam. And then move out of the dam on the next game day. That's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. Let's do. Let's do it. Secret tree cave? Yes. Usually one wolf down here on boy. Contact lens misbehaving. Here it is. How? Oh, hello. There's a wolf right there. How's your day going? Oh, that just hit the ice. <laughs> I'm aiming terribly. I'm going to blame the contact lens. In the schnoz. Um, no depth perception. That's that's totally it. I hate it when I shoot arrows on ice because quite often they're like impossible to find. But obviously these ones are fine. Except one of them broke, which is unacceptable, frankly. Oh, it is nearly December, my friends. This will be going up on... 
Yeah, it'll be December when this goes up. <laughs> I have a schedule on my whiteboard and I'm trying to record every single day at the moment. So you may find that I'm less forgetful after the next few episodes because I've played recently. But um, yeah, I'm trying to record every single day so that I have a bit of a um, buffer. And also because Christmas is coming and undoubtedly I want to not record and stream over Christmas. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah. Oh, we actually said we were going to the Hermit Hut, and I just walked completely the other way. Hermit Cabin, I think it's called. Oh, I was out of water walking. But yeah, hope you're uh, winding down. I hope those of you who are in the States have a nice Thanksgiving. I got asked the other day why I was having my work Christmas party because I mean we haven't even had Thanksgiving yet and I was like do you want to think about that one again why would I have Thanksgiving oh yes New Zealand is common it is very common to celebrate at, at work your Christmas parties in November because everyone starts to go on vacation in December it's too warm and People like to start to plan their family trips and finish work. Some, or well, if you're in government, some people finish work mid-December. Um, I'm in the pub, the private sector now, so a lot of people are working all the way up to Christmas, but then taking a good chunk of time. I don't have any leave, so I've just taken a half-day Christmas Eve, and then um, I'll um, have some time off in January. I forget what I've um what I've talked about on on episode and what I haven't. So if I'm telling you stories you've already heard, I apologize. Oh, food inside a pot. I'll take it. I love how I'm just finding arrow shafts. So, like that's fantastic. All right, let's get out of here. Took a while to see me. I was about to shoot him, but then I was like, mm, but my aim. <laughs> my aim is bad. I seem to have lost the, my neck in the last week or so. I hit him. He's going to bounce around like a yo yo for a few minutes. Frosty. I mean, I have a lot of food, right? I don't really need to get the buck. It was just for funsies. The poor guy's gonna run around now for ages, and I have uh, wasted my arrow. Boing, 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 boing. You can tell I've been tired this week. Um, it has not been my best gameplay. I look forward to um, the comments I'm going to get on my last Astrid Says video when I decided to run at a wolf. Because I had a weird brain fart. He's got an arrow in his chest. I've got time. I can chase him around a little bit. way over his head see this is one of my uh, weaknesses my um, skill deficits is shooting uh, moving targets I think it's partly a reaction time thing slowed down with age but also um, I was never really good at that kind of gaming to start with so um, and I find deer quite hard to hit because they're very skittish and they move a bit quick for me but um I like to practice when I can. Where'd you go, Clompity? I mean, there's a carcass right there, but I don't think that's him. I don't think he died just then, did he? Oh, 
He doesn't look frosty, so yeah, this might be him. Okay, cool. Give me my arrow back. Sorry, I shot you just for sport, really. Uh, let's eat some heavy food and I can drop some stuff because I'm very slow and it's bothering me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm attacking the birds. Um, let's just drop some food, to be quite honest. I'm dropping, like, keeping the stuff that's higher calories. 600s and 500s and stuff. Got sick off candy bars before. Yeah, I'll keep the last of those. 44 is a little bit better. 35 sticks is kind of silly. I don't think I need... Do I need Tinder? I do. Okay, I keep, I keep checking that every time. Apologies if you've watched me do that a million times. Because so many of my runs at the moment, I don't um, I don't need Tinder. Do I, am I keeping the Mackinac for funsies? I don't know why I'm carrying around the Mackinac. I just did HIV, right? So, yeah, I was going to say. I must have got it there. Okay. I probably thought I'd repair it and wear it instead of the Parker. I mean, it's not really going to be that much better. It's a little bit more waterproof, but this is really waterproof already. I'm tempted to drop the Mackinac, guys. That seems like a travesty. I could replace this, though, because it's, this is slower. I mean... Six and a half a dozen. They're very close together. Ba -da -da. Anyway, I'm wasting time just fluffing about talking. I'm a little bit faster now that I'm less than five kilos overweight. That helps a bit. Ba -da -da. You've got this, Astrid. I believe in you. So tomorrow I'm trying a little experiment where I take my dog to the office. I think that's going to be fun. I think she's going to like it. I might have to take the bed that I have in my office here and put it under my desk and she can come and lie down when she's not walking around getting pats for everybody. She likes attention. So I'm going to try all that and if it works then she can come to the office with me on a Friday, which makes me very happy. mainly a trial because I have to figure out where I take her to the bathroom every now and then she's um she's an older dog she's nearly seven so she's not you know she's pretty good at holding her pee but I don't want to um obviously make her do that most of the day I want to take her out a bunch of times but there's not a lot of grass outside my office so I have to walk a block away to the park to let her pee I mean that's fine by me Marsh Ridge, fun times. So normally I'd go down Marsh Ridge to get to um, Broken Railroad, but I've already done Broken Railroad, so we're going to go the other way to go to, is that, it is wood, right? Oh no, it is a snare. Oh, I like snares. We're going to go the other way to get to Mystery Lake. Fishing tackle, why not? 78. Bulleride. Fun times. Sometimes the moose is here, but he is, I believe, at the other end of the map, I think. Very loud vehicle outside. I don't know if that's being picked up by the mic or not. <laughs> Go past. Oh my god, I have to tell you about something stupid I did yesterday. I, um, my mother gets her mail delivered to me because her house is behind a gate in a long driveway and she just basically doesn't want people to be trying to get down her driveway to deliver her things so she just gets everything to me. 
I have um, a habit of when I go over there on a Wednesday night taking whatever deliveries that she's given me and she said one sent there and I took it over yesterday took it in my backpack had it with me the whole time but never gave it to her and went to give it to her as I went to leave um, realized it was in my backpack took it out put it on the roof of my car you know where this is going neither of us noticed that I'd put it on the roof of my car because I started buckling in my children into their car seats and then I went around the other side of the car to drive the car because in New Zealand you drive on the right hand side of the car and I'd put it on the left hand side of the car and I drove away I drove away so it's not in her driveway it's not on her street she's gone from her house to my house in the car I have gone my husband has gone on foot around the the street that's nearby to us that it might be on um i've posted in the local facebook group my mum went to the police and they said post in your local facebook community group and i was like oh god i'm not in any of those so i had to join one post about it for her and i'm just i feel really bad but i was just really really tired and it had been a very long day and i just wasn't thinking very clearly but i do actually remember thinking as i put it on the roof i better not leave that there I better make sure mum knows that's there. And I didn't. I think me thinking that I must do that told my brain that I had done that. And so it let me just drive away. And the kids were being whiny and, you know, all the normal stuff. All the normal reasons why mums are distracted. But I feel bad because it was an expensive cardigan. So, and I can't afford to replace it. So I probably should uh, try and make that up to her somehow. But I'm still hopeful with the address on the front of it, and this not being a very big area, I'm still hopeful that someone around here finds it and goes, oh, I'm not going to open this because I'm a decent human being. I'm going to go put it in that person's letterbox. I also offered to collect it. I said, if you find it and you want me to collect it from you, I will. We'll see. I'm hopeful that there are still very nice, honest people in the world, but um, my mother is very pessimistic about people and thinks that someone's just going to steal it. Which, I mean, fair enough. That is, not, that is a possibility. Someone just decides that it's their new package. Oh, I thought this was a... I thought this was a breakable bit. It's not. Huh. Unless it's because I've got crampons on? No, I don't have the crampons. I haven't been there. I've only been to the signal fire. Huh. That's surprising. I genuinely thought that was a weak ice and I was ready to sprint. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, over here. I was going to say, where's the bit that I cross over? It's over here. Wow, wow. So yeah, I should make some more arrows soon. I've got birch bark that I need to drop to cure. Now, there is a lantern in the poacher's camp. I have already been triggered to leave the map because of that. Um lantern so don't panic i have already done that and come back just if you're new to the series um i don't have to do it again <laughs> where is mr bear did i kill him i don't think i did so i need to be on my game i think he's walked past me a few times while i've been in poachers i need to be careful I've left meat. Oh no, I did kill him because I left meat for him. I remember now. Oh no, I didn't kill him. I did. I didn't? I did. I shot him with a flare gun. So he might have died. Because I... But I left the map. I think sometimes if you shoot them and you leave the map, they don't die. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm going to act as if he's not dead, just to be safe. Oh, 
Oh, squeeze me. Oh, it's nearly Friday. I'm so happy. So yes, here's the lantern that I got triggered last time. Um, I didn't come back and loot, I don't think, because I am allowed to loot now. But I don't think there was anything that I really wanted. Yeah, I have looted, okay. I don't really need any of this. So I'm just here for the sake of having somewhere to stop in case it was... The weather was bad. I like to put in safety stops. So yeah, we can just go camp off us in the dam, I think. And just power on. quiet so yeah i uh i used to play voyager that was like my predominant um that was my predominant difficulty for a very long time um i just really enjoy it i think it's a really nice balance of the game it's more relaxing to me but i also do make really silly decisions because i feel like it's not as hard as load deloper or stalker so i can just be a bit complacent and i end up dying so um, but yeah, I played this for a very, very long time, and I still really like it, and I still think it's a really fun difficulty setting. Um, and I, you know, I know the diehards think it's too easy and it's boring, but I wanted 50 days on every difficulty level to remind myself of all the different challenges and benefits of each difficulty level. And just for funsies, you know? I'm slow in this wind. I was going to drink a soda, but that's fine. I've said this in so many streams and so many videos, but the wind is the biggest, the biggest enemy in TLD. Cougar, wolf, bear, moose, all be damned. The the wind gives me more hassle than all of those. <laughs> Though I've not played with a cougar, to be quite honest. I'm just being facetious, but I just hate the freaking wind in this game. Nothing annoys me more than just being hindered by something that I know has a purpose, but just let me walk. I don't know some people do this, like diagonal walking, sideways walking. But I'm trying not to yawn over and over, I'm sorry. <laughs> I um I noticed just this week I've just been waking up just not feeling rested and it it's challenging. I just probably need to get into a much better routine. Um my sleep schedule's all over the place. But I always say, like, I just need one early night and then I'll feel better. And then I I just I don't. I don't feel better. Usually because my early nights don't ever become early nights. Like, I get into bed early, but I don't actually go to sleep early. I really should ban my phone from the bedroom. Excuse me, I should charge it in another room. I know people who do that. It seems very sensible. But I just... Also love my YouTube time or my TikTok time in bed before I go to sleep. And I like my podcasts while I sleep. And I need to be able to, like, skip the podcast or move on to the next podcast or... Have I done the Mystery Lake Bunker? I think I have. I can't go there anyway. God, this wind is even worse here. 
Ugh, this is rough. Hey, bro. Stop breaking my arrows, stupid wolves. You and your hard, your hard noggins. What I might do is pop into camp office. Oh, excuse me. Pop into camp office and um, make a few more arrows. Because I think it's about to blizzard. I just have to get to the dam before the next day arrives. I don't travel at night, you'll notice. Um, it's not because I don't like to. It's because of visibility for you, mainly. Um, visibility for me, too. But mainly because I don't find streams or videos very entertaining when I can't see. <laughs> um, so I try and do my traveling during the night, a day, and sleep during the night, and keep her on the right sort of day-night cycle. Um, and also, there's just less danger. Excuse me. Less danger during the day. For sure. Obviously you don't get an aurora during the day. Last thing you want is a night and then a blizzard, or a night and then an aurora, or like another factor. Like if it's a nice clear night and I know where I'm going, probably consider it. But again, it would need to be nice and clear and bright so that the visibility was good. I would cut out my yawns like I cut out my sneezes, but um, I, I think it would be a very short video. <laughs> I'm supposed to stream for like three hours. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Wow, this is so slow. I try and walk in a different direction. I mean, we are very tired and we're quite overburdened. Um, when we're tired, so it doesn't surprise me, but this is like 90% wind. It's painful. Mm-hmm. I've put a little triangle on there. I don't remember what triangle means. Materials. Cool. I like it when I label things. It's very helpful. I, I don't remember exactly what they are, but... Oh, and look! I have been busy. I love my terrible memory. It's, it's very fun sometimes. It gives me nice little surprises. Travel is it'll take three hours because I don't have. Didn't give me a time then. Oh, now it does. Do, am I crazy? Did it just not give me a time or an option down here? Okay, whatever. Um, I must have been storing some stuff here. Yeah, I got all this food. Okay. Let's drop the saplings for now. Oh, look. Yeah, I had notes down the bottom. Okay, that's fine. Uh, four times birch saps in office. All right, let's give her just a tiny nap. I am too tired to think straight. 
It'll be dusk, kind of early evening. We can, uh, we can hopefully just walk along the tracks. And it'll be nice and clear. And all good. And we'll, we'll have no problems getting there. And it's not like we get lost. It's just, uh, can be full of, uh, full of idiots. Sounds nice and quiet out there. Dusk music? Oh. Have I got any coffee? No. I think we aim to get to the, uh, the train loading and hole up there if we have to. I have to get to the dam. This isn't too bad yet. We can always stim run too. Unless the blizzard will uh, get rid of the wolves. It just takes a little while in game for the um for them to despawn. I think up to an hour if you're outside already and or maybe two hours if you're outside already and an hour if you're inside when the blizzard starts. I can't remember. I know it's just not like an automatic, there's a blizzard and um, the wolves disappear sort of scenario. weather. I'm always trying to lighten the load a little bit as I travel on Voyager particularly. Quite often I'll just be full all the time on Voyager. I just keep water and hunger full all the time. Now I can't go in here, I just realised, so this is just a, um, I could duck against one of these cliffs, like if it got really, really bad, but I think I'll be fine. Um, even if it goes full blizzard, we'll just follow the tracks until we get there. Hey dude! Oh, I haven't been here. Alright. Oh, we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the runaway and fear thing, okay. So I can't go in there, but I can loot this here. And there's another one over here. I don't know if I need any more, though. And then the third one. Is he eating? What is he eating? Oh, he wasn't. Okay. So there was a little wiggle of like a like an eating um you know when they're eating a rabbit or whatever oh oh well oh. did i i think i missed him astrid your t your timing is always excellent did i hit him with that arrow then i must have so that's another arrow lost unfortunately oh well Just for time, you know what? Let's just use our unlimited, well not unlimited, but use our long term sprint to get us along in this wind. It's still slow though. It's quite remarkable how slow I am still. Still a much far faster travel method than um than just walking along. Um, it's uh, interesting how some people preserve their stims for like life and death absolute, you know, gonna die situations. If I have like three and I'm on Voyager, I know I'm just never gonna use them. Um, I quite regularly just get somewhere a little bit faster. 
Because I'm not worried about the condition loss I just took, because that would be like one sleep and she'll have all of that back. But um, I did want to um, just get a move on before it's dark and more snowy. The visibility sucks. Because even with the train tracks, like, it's good to know, like, what's ahead of you. Move when it's, you know, you can actually see where you're going. <laughs> Now, I have been talking about how um, we're going to be doing an episode a day almost because of the fact that um, we seem to be doing, you know, a full a day of traveling. And, and that's the episode because right now we're already at 36 minutes, so I'll be wrapping this up pretty soon. But um, I do realize that we're only on episode, what, eight? Nine? And we're on day 18, so... Early on, we did definitely pass more than one day an episode. And I will try and get back to one or two days an episode um, in future. But we've had some really big travel sessions, and that's um, that's definitely made uh, taking a lot more in, in real life time. This is so unbelievably slow. Holy cannoli. <laughs> like, do I have coffee in a thermos? Do I have a thermos? I just don't. I'm just slow. Drop like almost all of our sticks. Let's drop like almost all of our water. There we go. Now I'm only 11 kilos over instead of 15 or 16 kilos over. This is, <laughs> what kind of, what story can I tell while we walk along the track? Uh, December's going to be interesting. We've got my mother's birthday. My daughter's turning three, which is wild to me. Then January, my husband's birthday, my son's birthday. It's a very busy, very expensive time of year. Uh, my family will share like a Google Sheet calendar, not a calendar, like a Google Sheet table where we all put in what we want for Christmas and then we all buy from that. That makes Christmas shopping a lot easier, but half of them have not even filled it out this year. I'm going to have to start prodding people. Um, what else is coming up? Still looking at houses. Online mainly, maybe. Mainly. I've been too much of a wuss to go to visit um, any houses because if I find a house and I fall in love with it, then what do I do? <laughs> My house isn't ready to sell. And I'm scared no one will buy it because it's just, it needs, it needs TLC, you know, so. But there's a particular house that I've seen online that I'm quite enamored with and I'm going to go see it on Sunday. And, um, um, it, they don't want much for it. So if I lower my expectations for my house, seeing as it's quite run down, then we would end up in a very similar financial dis position by buying it. So in theory, I could take a lot less for my house so that I could buy that house because I really like that house. Um, but anyway, I find it very stressful. But um, if I can make it as straightforward and, and as smooth as possible, then that would be good. Because I've heard buying and selling a house is one of the most stressful things that you can do. I've moved countries twice. That was extremely stressful. So I'd rather, um, I'd rather try and uh, make this a, a calmer process. My plan was to just put off selling our house and not buy anything and just try and sell our house in the new year. And then while we're partway through selling, then we could look to buy. Um, but oh my God, the stress of it all. All right. We made it to the dam, kids. Now, I am almost undoubtedly going to find a lantern in here. So I am not going to look around, apart from this very first room. Because I just know the game is out to get me, and there's going to be a lantern in here. This is not going to be my fear. Um, so I'm going to get the save here, and we'll pick this up next time. Next time... Uh, Loot the dam, sort out inventory, uh, head to PV. 
Um, let's put note. We haven't looted the uh, train loading the trailers outside the lane. Etc. To do later. The, like I keep getting like new locations, so obviously I haven't been around here very much. I'm gonna fill her up. I'm gonna drop one of these actually. I should have done that earlier. Um, because I'm probably not going to make a lot of fires and not making a lot of fires means I'm not going to be making a lot of porridge or um, bannocks, you know, or anything like that. So we might as well just get rid of the oats as much as I love the porridge in the game. Uh, let's fill her though completely and give her a sleep, a big sleep. And I'll see you guys in a few more days with some more content from Great Bear. Oh, Aurora, please like, comment and subscribe so that more people can find me and I'll see you next time. Uh, hey, appreciate you. Bye, bye.